Information on the Crimson Days event has been released, so we're going to go over everything that that entails, and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Garnier Watcher. So, yesterday Bungie had released all of the details regarding this year's Crimson Days event. Links to all sources will be in the description box below. But before we get into the video, if you haven't already entered into the Destiny 2 Forsaken Annual Pass giveaway for the month of March 2019, then click on the link in the description box below for your chance to win. So, Crimson Days will start next week, Tuesday, February 12th at 9am Pacific Standard Time. And it will end Tuesday, February 19th at 9am. We'll be able to start that adventure by heading to Lord Shacks in the tower. Just like every year, Crimson Doubles will also be available. But if you don't know, Crimson Doubles is a 2v2 Clash Crucible playlist, but with a little bit of a twist. If you stay close to your partner, all of your abilities will recharge faster, but if you stray too far away from them, then the enemies will be given a waypoint to your location. However, you will need a partner to participate in Crimson Doubles, and if you don't have a partner, then Bungie will find one for you. So yes, my friends, that means matchmaking. I am not too fond of it for many reasons like being at the mercy of a person who isn't really that good in PvP and then going up against a PvP powerhouse. It's not fun at all. During this event, we will be getting 4 daily and 1 weekly bounty. But if you don't like going into the Crucible, that's fine because some of the bounties will consist of only PvE activities. As for the rewards, if you weren't able to get all of the rewards from last year, then you are in luck because they will be returning. But we will also be getting new rewards as well, so there's a reason for you to do Crimson Doubles. Similar to the horror story in the Festival of the Lost, we will be getting a new max power weapon. It is a bow called the Vow, and we can obtain it through a new currency called Confectionary Hearts. This bow comes fully masterworked, and it is the very first bow in Destiny 2 that will be available to all players, and it will be power 650 if you have the Forsaken DLC. The Vow is a lightweight frame bow with Archer's Tempo, so it's already starting off good. The Curity Road for this bow comes with lightweight frame, polymer strings, natural fletching, rapid hit, Archer's Tempo, with the possible masterwork of draw time. Now, I say possible masterwork because at the recording of this video, masterwork possibilities are being hidden until Bungie addresses an issue with the API. However, as for this weapon's stats, this bow has an impact of 65, an accuracy of 54, stability, handling, and reload speed of 64, and a draw time of 680, so it's definitely one of the faster bows. As for its hidden stats, there is an aim assist of 84, recoil direction of 51, weapon size of 64, and a zoom of 18. We'll be able to receive confectionary hearts by playing Crimson Doubles as well as getting them from bounties. In Crimson Doubles, we'll get 7 Confectionary Hearts for every win and 5 for every loss. Now, that doesn't mean go into matches and then purposely lose. When it comes to bounties, we will get 15 Confectionary Hearts from each daily bounty and 75 for completing the weekly Nightfall Duel Bounty. Also, Lord Shax will be selling items in his inventory for Confectionary Hearts as well. Here is a list of their cost. The Tyrastrel Legendary Ghost Shell is 25. The Undeterred Exotic Sparrow is 50, the Vow Legendary Bow is 100, the Wordcliff Coil Ornament is 125, the Flaunting Dance Legendary Emote is 150, and the Warm Hearted Gift Package is 15. Now the Warm Hearted Gift Package will give you a chance to get Enhancement Cores, Weapons, Mods, Gear, and Resources. But wait! There's more! Shout out to anyone who can guess what movie that is from. There will also be Crimson Days Trials for us to complete, and if you complete all of them, then you will get the Sugary Ghost Shell from Destiny 1. Double Drops are returning in the event, so whenever we get a Bright Engram, then a Crimson Engram will drop as well. Unfortunately, the Tiny Bow Emote and the Shot Through the Heart Ornament for the Vow will also be available for direct purchase in Eververse Bundles. Bungie, you did good up until that point. Just saying. After unlocking the Vow, we will receive a discount code to unlock the Vow hoodie from inside of the Bungie store through the Bungie Rewards. Bungie will also be donating $7 for each Bungie Foundation pin during the Crimson Days event. Now, these pins will come with every purchase in the Bungie store 
while the Crimson Days event is going on. Personally, I like the idea of Bungie integrating in-game rewards with the Bungie Rewards system, but I just wish that the items weren't so damn expensive and that's after the discount code is applied. Okay, so, recap. The Crimson Days event is coming. Crimson Doubles will be coming back. You still need two people in order to do it. New bounties and rewards from Lord Shax. Last year's rewards will be returning as well as a few new ones. The pinnacle weapon is a bow that is called the Val that drops at 650 for Forsaken players. Eververse is still garbage, forcing us to use real money to buy cool things that we want, even if it's only cosmetic, and Bungie will be donating for a good cause. That pretty much sums up what the Crimson Days event will be. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about the Crimson Days event and if you will be participating. And that my friends brings us to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this video, feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.